In this video, I'll show you how to factory reset, restore, and turn your iPhone into a brand new iPhone, okay? Please note that this is something that also works even if you've forgotten your iPhone passcode, okay? If you do not remember your iPhone passcode, do not worry because with this process, this is gonna erase your iPhone passcode that you do not remember and it's gonna wipe everything on your phone. And also, please note that this works on any iPhone model, whether you've got an iPhone 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, it works on all iPhone models. Hey, my name is Shaq, and in this channel, I help you fixing tech-related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to reset and wipe all data on your iPhone, which is a very important process that normally is done when you're about to sell your iPhone to somebody or when you're about to buy an iPhone from somebody. You need to make sure that you reset, you factory reset everything so that you are sure that there is no any link between your personal data or information and the person who's about to buy your iPhone or the previous owner of the iPhone that you're just about to purchase. So before we even get started, I'd like to let you guys know that you'll need obviously an iPhone device, you'll also need a USB cable, and at last, you'll also need a computer, okay? Please note that the computer can be either a MacBook or a Windows PC or any other computer. Do not worry because this works on any computer model, okay? So do not worry if you have a different computer than mine. In this video, I'll be doing it on my MacBook, but I'll also be showing you the steps on how to perform this process on a Windows PC. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So now, let's move into the computer and the very first thing you need to do is open your internet browser, okay? You'll need to go to this website which is ipsw.me, okay? Do not worry because I have the link to this website in the description box below. And this is the same process that you'll be doing on your Windows PC as well. So over here on IPSW downloads, you're gonna scroll down and you'll tap here on iPhone. You need to choose a product, you'll tap here on iPhone, okay? Basically, what you'll be doing here is downloading a new system software to install on your iPhone device. So over here, you need to choose the iPhone that you've got, okay? You'll select the model that you've got. Please be very careful to select the correct iPhone device. So in my case, in this video, I'll be using an iPhone 6 Plus. I'll select this one in order to show you guys how to perform these steps. So I'll tap here on iPhone 6 Plus, and then you'll be able to see here the latest software version of your iPhone device. So this is the latest that I've got, okay? So make sure you guys download the latest, the most updated software and not the old ones, okay? So I'll tap here on this one, I'll tap one on the software and then you're gonna wait for a few couple seconds, the page is gonna load, you'll then scroll down a little bit more and tap here on download, okay? Let me tap here on download and as you guys can see in here, the download has started. So it depends on your internet speed, it might take you 15 minutes, it might take you half an hour or a little bit more than that. So just wait, sit back and relax and wait until your download finishes. So basically, once the download is complete, you'll open your downloads folder and you're gonna find the file that you've just downloaded right here. So this is the file that I've just downloaded and I'll bring it to my desktop, okay? So make sure you guys also bring it to your desktop just to make it easier to access the file, okay? If you have a Windows PC, do not worry, just put it on the desktop of your computer. The next thing you need to do if you have a MacBook computer, you just need to open Finder by tapping tapping here on finder and leave it as it is, okay? Now, if you have a Windows PC, you'll need to open up iTunes on your Windows computer. Now, if you do not have iTunes installed on your Windows computer, you'll have to quickly download iTunes and install it on your computer. So in order to download, do not worry, just tap in the link in the description box below in order to download iTunes and then simply double click the installation folder and install iTunes on your Windows PC. Once you're done installing, simply open iTunes and keep it opened 
like this just like i have my finder here opened on my macbook next up after having finder opened on your macbook or itunes open on your windows pc you'll then need to connect the usb cable onto your computer and then we have a very important step to perform on our iphone before connecting the usb cable into our iphone device so please be very careful on this step right now so first of all, I won't be resetting this iPhone right now because this has a lot of information which is mine. So instead, I'll be using this iPhone just to showcase to you guys how the process works, okay? Because I don't wanna lose all my personal information with this video. And also, I'm sorry for the broken screen right here. But do not worry, let's move into the next step. Now, the next thing we need to do in here is turn off our iPhone device. If you have an iPhone up to iPhone 7, for example, if you have an iPhone 5, 6, SE or iPhone 7, all you need to do to turn off your phone is press and hold the power button located on the right side of your iPhone. So you just need to press and hold the power button until you see the slide to power off. You'll then need to slide to turn off your phone. Now, if you have any iPhone above iPhone 7, for example, if you have an iPhone 8, an iPhone X, just like this one, an iPhone 11, 12, or 13, this is how you turn off your iPhone. You need to press the power button located on the right side along with the volume down button. So you'll have to press both of these buttons until you see the slide to power off screen right here, and then you'll have to slide to power off your iPhone device. Next up, we need to put our iPhone in a recovery mode. And for any iPhone up to iPhone 6 models, for example, if you have an iPhone 4, 5, 6, or SE, you'll need to connect your cable into your iPhone simultaneously while pressing the home button. So this needs to be done very quickly, like this, okay? And then keep on holding the power button. Don't let go the power button keep on waiting until you see the recovery screen right here. So this is the recovery screen that you've got. If you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, just like this one, you'll do the same process, but instead of holding the home button, you'll need to hold the volume down button. So this is how it goes. Connect and hold, okay? and keep on holding the volume down button. Do not release the button. Keep on waiting, okay, until you see the recovery screen right here on your iPhone device. So keep on holding. Okay, and here we go. We've got the recovery screen here on the iPhone 7 device. Now, on any iPhone model above iPhone 7, for example, if you have an iPhone 8, 10, 11, 12, or 13, the process is similar, but instead of holding the volume down button, you'll need to hold the power button located on the right side of your iPhone. So here we go. Um, this needs to be done simultaneously and quickly. Here we go. I'm holding the power button on the right side of the iPhone device, and my iPhone is turning on. Keep on holding the power button, okay? for a couple seconds and after a few more seconds we'll be on the recovery screen here we go we've got the recovery screen right here on any iphone above iphone 7. so here we go once you connect it into your phone you need to keep your phone aside and make sure you do not play with the cable because this might interrupt the process of restoring or factory resetting your iphone device so don't play around with the cable make sure it's on this position till the end of the process so next up we'll move into our computer so just like i told you you'll need to have your finder window open just like this one and then you'll have to tap here on your iphone okay located here on the left side of the finder now if you have uh your itunes open you'll automatically be able to see a screen that looks just like this one where you've got an option here of update and then another option of restore okay now please note that if you're running itunes on your windows pc and if there's any pop-up as soon as you connect your iphone simply close that pop-up and then you'll be back 
to the main window of iTunes, which will look similar to this one. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to tap on restore, but before tapping on restore, we need to make sure that we're clicking the button while holding the option key on your MacBook, okay? Hold the option key and then press on restore, okay? And then this Windows is gonna pop up. Now, if you have a Windows PC, you'll need to press and hold the shift button located on your keyboard, okay? This is pretty simple, but it's very, very sensitive. So make sure that you perform this tab very, very carefully. Next up, we simply need to locate our software that you've just downloaded from that website. As I've told you guys, we kept the file on desktop, okay? So I'll tap here on desktop and then here is the file. As you guys can see, I've got iPhone, blah, 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 dot IPSW. So I'll select the file and then I'll tap here on open, okay? Next up, you'll get this pop-up which says your Mac will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 12.5.5 and will verify the restore with Apple. Simply tap on restore and then just wait, sit back and relax while your computer does its job. Please make sure that you do not touch your iPhone cable, otherwise this might interrupt the process of restoring your iPhone device. So here we go, it's now preparing my iPhone for restore. As you guys can see, the restore process has started and my computer is now restoring my iPhone device. And this is how my iPhone device looks like right here, okay? So the restore process has started and all you need to do is just wait for a couple minutes until this is complete on your iPhone. Now, the process is now complete and as you guys can see, I've got a message here on my computer which says iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear in the sidebar after it restarts. So simply tap on OK and this is how my iPhone looks like at the moment. So the iPhone is pretty much loading. All you need to do is just to wait for a couple more seconds before we set up our iPhone as a brand new iPhone. Please make sure that you do not disconnect the USB cable from your computer, okay? Let's keep on waiting for a few more minutes. So here we go, my iPhone has just turned on and this is probably how your screen looks like. We've got here a bunch of hello messages in different languages in here to welcome our brand new iPhone. So what you need to do is tap here on the home button and then you'll need to select the language in which you want to use your iPhone, okay? So we're basically setting up our iPhone from scratch. So I'll tap here on English, okay? And then I need to select my region, okay, my country. So I'll be selecting in here, India. So you can select whichever region you want to select according to your currently region right now, the country where you live. So it's gonna take you a few seconds to set up and then we'll be here on the screen where we need to set up our iPhone manually. So it's up here on setup manually and then tap on next after selecting the keyboard style or language that you wish to have. In my case, I want to have English India, so I'll tap on next and then we've got here choose a Wi-Fi network, okay? You need to connect to the internet in order to activate your iPhone, okay? So I'll quickly connect into any Wi-Fi uh, connection right here. And here we go, okay? It's gonna take you a few more minutes to activate the iPhone. Please note that you can now disconnect the USB cable from your iPhone device if you wish to disconnect. Next up, we've got here data and privacy. Just tap on continue and then you can set up the Touch ID right now. I won't set it up right now. I'll tap on set up Touch ID later, okay? Because I don't want to use it right now. And then I can create my new passcode as you guys know. Um, if you forget a passcode, you can set up a new one right now. So let me just quickly set up a new passcode right now. 
So basically, after setting up your new passcode, you can restore data from your iCloud backup, restore from an iTunes backup, or move data that you had previously on an Android phone, okay? So I'll tap as of now on don't transfer any data or app because I don't wish to restore any data at the moment. Next up, you need to sign in with your Apple ID account in order to access your phone, in order to use your phone. So I've just typed in my iCloud details, email and password, and then the next thing that I've got is the terms and conditions. Now, please note that on the previous screen where I logged in with my iCloud details, if you are in a situation where your iPhone had an iCloud linked onto your iPhone device, you need to compulsory uh, log in with the previously logged in iCloud account, okay? Now, if the iPhone didn't have any iCloud account, just like in my case, then you can log in directly with any iCloud account. This is something really safe because if the iPhone is stolen or something like that, you won't be able to pass through that security measure right there. So the restore process is very important before buying any iPhone from anybody else. So next up, we just need to tap here on agree with the terms and conditions. And then it's gonna take us a few minutes to set up our Apple ID onto this brand new iPhone device. Next up, once the loading is done, you'll be seeing a screen that looks like this, which says express settings and other information. Let me just tap here on continue and then um, tap again on continue. And then I've got here this option which says that I need to keep everything safe with my iCloud, but I don't wish to buy anything now. I'll tap on not now. Um, if you want to buy iCloud storage, you can simply tap on buy in order to uh, purchase more storage. And then I'll tap on set up later to set up everything later. Don't share, choose a view. And uh, I'll go with the standard view. Too many settings in here and we're good to go. Welcome to your brand new iPhone get started and here we go my iphone is now brand new congratulations you've just set up your new iphone device right here and everything is working perfectly fine congratulations you've just restored your iphone device and set up everything as a brand new iphone device if this video really helped you do like the video leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel because by subscribing and leaving a comment down below you're also helping me to reach out more people by getting recommended here on a youtube platform so that i can help out more people with the same problem as yours thank you for watching fixed by Shaq, and i'll see you in the next one have a great day